ABC is a triangle with angle A equal 90 degree. The hypotenuse BC has a length 38. There are two points L and K inside the triangle such that AK, AL, BK, CL, KL all have length 14. Question. Find the area of the quadrilateral BKLC. In this problem, we have a right angle at the point A, 90 degree. We also have an equilateral triangle AKL with 360 degree angles. There are also two isosceles triangles KAB and LAC, which further provided two pairs of congruent angles. All these angles are closely related. Angle chasing might reveal some surprises. First, assume angle KAB has a measure alpha. The objective is to express the measures of other angles in terms of this alpha. Angle KBA is another base angle of the isosceles triangle KAB. So its measure is alpha. Then the third angle on the top has measure 180 degree minus 2 alpha. Now, the triangle AKL is an equilateral triangle, so it has 360 degree angles. Let's look at the angles at the point A here. Angle A is a right angle with 19 degree, contains three smaller angles. One has a measure alpha, the second one 60 degree, and the third one LAC has measure 30 degree minus alpha. So the total of the three angles is 90 degree. LAC is an isosceles triangle. This is one of the base angle. Then the other one, LCA, also have 30 degree minus alpha. Then the last angle of this in this triangle has a measure 120 degree plus 2 alpha. The sum of these three angles is 180 degree. Now, the chasing go to the point L. Look, around this point, we have three angles. One, 60 degree. The second one, 120 plus 2 alpha. Then the third one should be 360 minus 60 minus 120 plus 2 alpha. So the measure is 100. 80 degree minus 2 alpha. Now look, angles CLK and angle AKB, they both has measure 180 degree minus 2 alpha. So they are congruent. What does that mean? It means triangle KAB and LCK are congruent. They have a congruent angles here and side angle side, side angle side. Now let's look at the areas of three triangles, LAC, AKL, and KAB. The bracket here are used to denote the areas of triangles or polygons. Their sum equals the area of a triangle ABC minus the quadrilateral BKLC. The quadrilateral BKLC is actually our target. Now, one of the triangle KAB can be replaced by LCK because of the congruence. 
after the replacement, the three triangles come up with a larger triangle ACK. How do we calculate the area of this triangle? Well, it equals the base AC times the altitude KE divided by 2. Now, look at the altitude KE. It is one side of the rectangle ADKE, so it is equal to AD. But AD is just one half of AB, so it is equal to 1 divided by 4 times AC times AB. And we end up with one half of the area of a triangle ABC. AB times AC divided by 4. In other words, the sum of these three triangles is just one half of the triangle ABC. Then the quadrilateral must be the other half of the triangle ABC. If we assume AB has length x and AC has length y, then the area of triangle ABC is just one half xy. So the quadrilateral BKLC has an area 1 divided by 4 times xy. So our target is to calculate x times y. There is another triangle ACK also has an area of one quarter of xy. What we can do here is to use an alternative way to calculate the area using Heron's formula. Heron's formula calculates the area of a triangle using the side lengths. We have one here, AC equals y, another one, AK equals 14. This is a given condition. What about CK? CK is actually equal to AB because of the triangle congruence. So CK equals X. Now we have all the three sides of the triangle. We can apply the Heron's formula. Heron's formula looks complex and difficult to use, but it is an excellent tool for the purpose of this problem. You will see it right away. The area of the triangle equals 1 divided by 4 times the square root of 4 factors. The first factor is the sum of 3 side lengths. The rest 3 factors just the sum of two sides minus the last one, x plus y minus 14, x plus 14 minus y, and 14 plus y minus x. Look at the first two factors, x plus y plus 14, x plus y minus 14. So, the product equals x plus y squared minus 14 squared. Similarly, for the last two factors, 14 plus x minus y, 14 minus x plus y, it equals 14 squared minus x minus y squared. Expanding the two squared terms, x plus y squared equals x squared plus y squared plus 2xy and x minus y squared equals x squared plus y squared minus 2xy. Now, this is my favorite part. x squared plus y squared. x is ab, y is ac. So, by Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus y squared is simply the square of hypotenuse, that is 38. After x squared plus y squared is replaced by 38 squared, here and here, and rearrange the terms, 
we have one quarter times square root of two x y plus thirty eight square minus fourteen squared times two x y minus thirty eight square minus fourteen squared. It is equal to one quarter of root two x y squared minus thirty eight squared minus fourteen squared squared. Unless absolutely necessary, don't expand the square of these big numbers. Now we have two expressions for the area of triangle ACK: one, one divided by four times x y; the other, one divided by four times a square root. So x y equals the square root. Square both sides and rearrange the term. We have a three times x y squared equals thirty eight squared minus fourteen squared squared. Taking square roots and only take the positive values. We have a root three x y equals thirty eight squared minus fourteen squared. And finally, the area of the quadrilateral. Equals one divided by four times x y, which is one over four root three times thirty eight squared minus fourteen squared. You can further simplify it by reducing four from the bottom and reducing two square on the top, and rationalize the denominator. The job is done. Thank you for watching.